The New World Order, a collection of entities that have formed one organization that is attempting to instill their brand of order over the entire world. While never fully proven, there are several pieces of evidence to support theories that they exist. The following is just that. Here are 10 dark New World Order conspiracy theories. Number 10 is the Fluoride Mafia. A popular New World Order conspiracy theory is that fluoride is in the water supply purely to create a docile population. This is perpetrated by a shadowy organization known as the Fluoride Mafia. This includes everyone from popular food and beverage companies to industrial corporations. Countries affected by the use of fluoride in the water supply include the United States, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom. Fluoride was first put in the water supply in the 1950s. The official story is that it protects our teeth from developing cavities. However, conspiracy theorists believe that the fluoride slowly accumulates in the body and eventually sedates the brain. That means everyone drinking tap water becomes more passive and open to the New World Order's nefarious schemes. Number 9 is the Black Helicopters. In the 1970s, people started noticing strange black helicopters in the sky. These helicopters are the subject of a New World Order conspiracy theory. Initially, the helicopters were linked to other conspiracy theories, such as UFOs and the Men in Black, but over time, conspiracy theorists proposed that the black helicopters carry federal and United Nations agents. These agents are from a shadowy arm of the New World Order. Their job is to enforce New World Order policies, and many within the militia movement throughout the United States believe that these black helicopters are part of a vast network which will be used by the United Nations to seize control of the United States at an opportune moment. There are even some that believe that they resemble descriptions in the biblical book of Revelations, which describes locust-like creatures descending from the air. Number 8 is Flight MH17. It's been a long-standing conspiracy theory that the New World Order wants to depopulate the planet to stop overpopulation. From this perspective, Flight MH17 is a critical piece of evidence to prove this. MH17 was a Malaysian passenger flight traveling from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur in 2014. As it was passing over the Ukraine, all contact with the aircraft was lost. The wreckage was found and all 298 passengers were lost. Russia was implicated in shooting down the aircraft during an altercation with the Ukraine over disputed territory. However, upon looking at the flight manifest, seven of the world's leading experts on the treatment of HIV died on board. It's believed that they were murdered deliberately to stop those scientists from revealing that HIV had been developed to wipe out parts of the human population. Number seven is the Denver Airport HQ. Some people believe that yes, the Denver airport is connected to the New World Order. The design of the airport contains strange hints at its dark origins. While many focus on the 9.7 meter horse statue with red eyes which killed its creator during construction, it's the murals which are the most disturbing. Though some have been removed, one showed a Nazi officer wearing a gas mask, another with children sitting around a knife, and finally another using Egyptian iconography. To add to that is the fact that a plaque states that the airport was built by the New World Airport Commission, an organization which doesn't actually exist, and that the runways are laid out to look like a swastika. It would appear that Denver Airport is actually a test of sorts by the New World Order. Why that is, nobody knows, but some speculate that the headquarters for the organization could actually be found underneath the airport. Number six is climate change. 
Another way for the New World Order to control population is through deliberate climate change. Many believe that the New World Order possesses the technology to alter the weather in such a way that they can cause both temporary and long-term climate change, resulting in famine, war for resources, and flooding. This allows the NWO to manipulate world affairs while profiting from investing in the rebuilding of infrastructure after these events. One theorized way for them to control climate is through the technology developed by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short. Conspiracy theorists believe that the US-led DARPA has the ability to alter weather and cause earthquakes using radio waves transmitted into the ground or air. Number five is New World Aliens. It's been suggested that the New World Order is either comprised of or controlled by an intelligent alien race. From cover-ups of a crashed alien spacecraft at Roswell, to the secretive testing of advanced aircraft at Area 51 in Nevada, the US government and others have been implicated in covering up the existence of extraterrestrials. Some believe that this is because the NWO is somehow connected to these advanced species. Fascinating clues throughout history may indicate that a powerful extraterrestrial society has been orchestrating the development of our own race from when we first evolved as a species and walked on two feet. But for what purpose, nobody knows. Number four is mind control. One of the most famous New World Order conspiracy theories is that they have the ability to control people's minds. With a variety of techniques at their disposal, the NWO can take control of any individual and make them commit an act as they choose. Declassified mind control experiments such as MKUltra are often offered as proof that government organizations under the direct instruction of the NWO are perfecting mind control techniques as we speak. How However, their most famous approach is to use microwave auditory effects to drive their enemies insane. Targeted individuals experience torturous clicks and sound distortions which never end from inside their own head. This effect has been proven to work since the 1960s. Number 3 is the One World Government. It's often believed that the New World Order's main goal is to create a one world government which either controls all countries or abolishes them altogether. Conspiracy theorists believe that this agenda is already coming to fruition and use a few examples from history to prove their point. For example, throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries, there was a desire by some to create an imperial federation out of the existing ex-colonies of the United Kingdom. The end goal was that these countries would eventually annex the rest of the world and create a global federal system much like the modern United States. The Commonwealth of Nations, which was formed in 1949, is considered by some to be the first step towards this. Then there are others that point to the Euro and the eventual creation of the Amero, which would merge American, Canadian, and Mexican currencies. At that point, it would be only one step away from merging the Amero and the Euro. Number two is transhumanism. Many believe that the New World Order is plotting to use technology to create a new species of human. Incorporating artificial intelligence and human enhancement technologies which allow human beings to merge with computer systems, some believe that the NWO is attempting to create a new form of superhuman species which would rule over all others. This would create a new type of caste system, with most people remaining unchanged and those sympathetic or part of the NWO enhanced with technology. Proponents of this conspiracy theory point to technological developments such as implants which directly access information in the brain and genetic manipulation as proof that the New World Order is getting ready to transcend the very definition of humanity. And number one is end time. 
The most chilling New World Order conspiracy theory is that the organization is manipulating humanity in order to fulfill the prophecies of the end times in the Bible. This would result in massive loss of human life and the end of everything that we hold dear. Depending on which interpretation of this conspiracy theory that you listen to, the New World Order is either a religiously obsessed organization which believes that it is doing God's bidding in fulfilling biblical prophecy, or that those at the head of the NWO have made a deal directly with the devil himself. They will then be rewarded with unimaginable power and wealth for creating hell on earth. Techniques involved in bringing about the end of the world would include manipulating nuclear conflict. Let's hope that those in charge in this world continue to keep a calm head. The New World Order, does it exist, and is it actually trying to take over the world with all of these conspiracy theories? Do any of them exist or do none of them exist? Only you can decide.